18 years ago, Spider-Man was released. It's a cult classic among cinephiles and Gen Zers. With that success, it spawned two more sequels until the franchise was canceled. Poor, poor Raimi. But perhaps there's a good reason as to why the fourth installment was canceled. And we can trace this back from one specific scene in the first film. It was the night that shaped Spider-Man. This fight with Bonesaw would soon serve as the foundation for one specific type of shit posting, Raimi posting. This is not to be mistaken with your relatively family-friendly Spider-Man memes. It's even the first result that you'll get if you look it up on YouTube. But the question is, what is Raimi posting? Well, <clears throat> it is the act of misquoting dialogue from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy in a prejudiced or insensitive manner. That's according to Know Your Meme, by the way. But needless to say, that doesn't include that one unintended reference in the first film that was a mistake. But what wasn't considered a mistake at the time was Peter Parker's homophobic quip towards Bonesaw. Obviously, that joke wouldn't fly today and Sam Raimi or Tobey Maguire would get cancelled for it. However, it was a different time. Jesus Christ, Raimi. I'm risking my channel here, but I want to make a video about this thing, alright? Um, let's take some respite with this in-depth analysis. That's he using a shortened version of that is, which is meant to, to for us to pay attention to the next words that are supposed to be out of Spider-Man's mouth. This is a clever director's trick known as commaing. It's a cute outfit. Obviously, the outfit that Bonesaw had on wasn't cute. So naturally, we are to assume that this bit of dialogue and allegory is the fashion industry was by some. No, no, I, I'm not reading that. Its true potential took off around 2016, when it got into the hands of the Supreme Edge Lords. That's a cute outfit, did your f- <laughs> Get up, her husband made it for you? Jesus, he went a little t far, don't you think? Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Also, if a woman gets- oh, I, I can't say that. I get that, uh, that Uncle Ben was from a different time, but fuck me, Raimi took it to- <laughs> So we can get- oh, no. No, alright, all right, I'm not saying that. You'll get your f***ing rent when you fix this goddamn f***ing door, you Slavic f Wow, I don't remember Raimi going this over for <laughs> The power of <laughs> In the palm of my hand. <laughs> wow, I knew- Wow, I knew- I knew fans complain about the change from the source material about Dr. Octopus's backstory. But I didn't expect this. However, that same year was also the time when the term Raimi posing was coined by one of the Anons. Raimi posing is not the meme I expected to come out of Spider-Man, and honestly, it's wasted potential. Goblin posing should have been the original Bane posting. You haven't been dry f Peter! <laughs> That's a good outfit! Did your husband give it to you? How did Raimi get away with this? 2002 was four years ago. <laughs> Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the goblin and did it. Well, me and you can rule this city, Spider Man, or we could just fight to the death. <laughs> Those are just a few examples of what I could find on Google Images, and it's also happening outside of Fortune. There's nothing much to it if I'm being honest. It's just like Bane posting, it came off as a wet fart. At least you could tell that maybe posting is not for the faint of heart. And that's not the end of it. Rumor has it that two of our good boys, Spidey boys, what the fuck, will reprise their roles in an upcoming Spider Man film, and Sam Raimi is set to direct an MCU film. So maybe we'll be expecting Doctor Strange uttering some horrible stuff. We'll see. <laughs>